With the ongoing curriculum review, one request which we constantly received from the students was that they wanted more self-tests and self-tests spanning more topics. And therefore, uh, during this summer, we decided to run a summer internship program where we recruited 10 MBBS year one and two students. And together, we developed this online interactive learning platform MedStep was built with the focus of finding the best possible way to help facilitate your learning. So each question is organized into specific topics, and those topics are all based on the most current lectures and course content. What more, each question is linked to a specific LO on Sophia, so that will help streamline your studying even further. And even though the course is made by students for students, all of the content is checked and verified by a senior faculty member. The best way of revising for exams is to apply your knowledge to exam style questions. MedStep allows you to consolidate your knowledge throughout the year on challenging and relevant questions. MedStep is also useful to get used to the style of questions which will be in your exams and also to the style of marking. And honestly, an active learning approach is one of the best skills you're going to learn at medical school. It makes your revision faster, more efficient and you're more likely to remember all the stuff in the long run. Take from me as a third year student, um, I have to go work on the wards 9 to 5 every day and I, in order to uh, be able to work and also have a good social life I have to be able to make my revision more efficient with an active learning approach. So when you, should you use MedStep? In my opinion the best way to use it is to use a really early stage. Um, this may be either before or straight after a lecture and this is to develop a level of understanding and uh, critical thinking skills because in by answering the questions, you are actually logically thinking through the question rather than just recalling facts. Um, this is a more active way of learning and is way better than taking notes. Um, and also, after doing this, uh, during exam preparation, you should go back and revisit those questions because in this way you can see what you're struggling with and you can focus on filling in those gaps that you might be struggling with. So how would you use MedStep? So for example, if you were answering a question and you clicked on option A and that turned out to be uh, incorrect, for example, you would, uh, when you get the, um, the explanations, you would get the explanation for why um, A is incorrect and why the other options are correct. And you would also get another chance to do it, uh, as well as the topic summary for that question. So let's say you tried the question again and you, let's say you went for option B and option B was also incorrect then you would, go f you would get an explanation for why option B was incorrect, um, but also you would get a topic summary um, for, the, for the question. And let's say third attempt, you were lucky and you got it correct. So you would get an explanation for why um, the option C, for example, was correct and the others were incorrect. And you would also get a topic summary for the, for the question as well. So when we made this platform, we wanted the focus to be not just on knowing and memorizing content, but actually on learning and understanding it um, what we found as medical students is that it's one thing to be bombarded with a bunch of information in lectures, but it's actually another thing to be able to get that knowledge and apply it to, in an examinable context and also apply it to unfamiliar cases and scenarios. And this is, of course, something doctors have to do day in and day out, where it's not good enough to just know the content, but actually they need to be able to apply their scientific knowledge to whatever individual patient may come in through the door. MedStep is a new active learning revision platform that's designed to help students learn and review content that's taught in lectures throughout the year. Uh, we didn't want it to be a simple question bank, so it's built to be a learning tool where each question is associated with a topic summary that allows the student to go over um, all of the topics that were covered in that question. Uh, it includes various visual and interactive learning tools, such as flow charts, diagrams, and tables. Uh, the questions have been made to reflect some of the more challenging topics that were covered in lectures this year, and each of the questions has been reviewed by peers and also assessed by the faculty. So we developed a series of questions that are not only learning outcome specific, but also topic integrated, um, while focusing on quality over quantity, which makes the most of a student's time. The questions are set out in a format that gives the students a comprehensive feedback sheet at the end of a question, that not only tells you what question, which option is correct, but why it is correct, facilitating an active form of learning. All right, I'll, I'll ramp up the entertainment. I think 
maybe another go. Mm, I don't know. I prefer to look perfect. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, just keep going. And honestly, uh, on okay, cool. Can we start again? And honestly, and actively learning. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, cool. The best way. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm wrong already. I, I need to do it again because I, I messed it up. I think. What? Oh, what? Do you think I should smile? Okay. <laughs> 